Hello and welcome to the spoken tutorial on Create Transaction in ABT. In this tutorial, you will be able to create a contra transaction, a journal transaction and a receipt transaction. In this tutorial, I am using ABT version 1.0, Android version 4.2 that is Jelly Bean and a rooted tablet. For more information, please visit github.com slash androportal slash abt or else akashlabs.org slash docs slash abt slash index dot html. For this tutorial, you must be familiar with the principles of bookkeeping, how to run and start abt and how to create a new organization. If not, for relevant tutorials, please visit spoken-tutorial.org. Select ABT application on Android 4.2. We will see ABT's welcome screen. We will choose Free Accounting Foundation from Select Existing Organization button. Let's log in as admin. We are now on the master menu of ABT. Let us select Transaction menu. Here, on this page, we can record transactions in ABT. So, let us start creating a new voucher. Select the type of transaction from the drop-down list of voucher type. We will see Contra, Journal, Payment, Receipt, Credit Note, Debit Note, Sales, Sales Return, Purchase and Purchase Return. There should be at least two accounts for recording transactions. ABT populates drop down of account name by voucher type rule. In Contra, it filters account names that comes under Contra. The setting will guide you to the correct field as per accounting principles. Debit what comes in. Credit what goes out. Debit the receiver. Credit the giver, debit all expenses and losses, and finally, credit all incomes and gains. In Contra transaction, we can use accounts with subgroups cash and bank. As an example, consider a Contra transaction for cash deposit to SBI Bank, rupees 2000 on 1st April 2014. For recording a contra transaction, we have already created an account. We need cash account under group current asset and subgroup cash. ABT sets financial start date as voucher date. If the date was changed during previous transaction, that date is set as default. As there are no projects created, the default value is no project. We will learn to create projects in another tutorial. We will select SBI for debit account name. Its closing balance will automatically get reflected that is 5000. Now we will enter amount for the transaction. Let's choose cash as credit account. Credit side amount field gets automatically filled up on focus. Now add voucher number and voucher reference number. There is difference between voucher number and voucher reference number. There can be many vouchers with same voucher reference number. Voucher number must be unique as vouchers are meant for different purposes. Next, narration is also a mandatory field. Let's enter being cash deposit into bank. Next, Payment Mode. There are two options to make payment. Check or Cash. If you select Check option, Check Number need to be filled. Let's enter Check Number. Note, Payment Mode is not available for vouchers like Debit Note, Credit Note and Journal. After filling necessary data, save the details. Message appears, 
which says transaction added successfully. The closing balance gets updated as the voucher is saved. Now let us make a journal entry. We have already created accounts for the entry that is advertising and purchase. Create account advertising under group indirect expense and create account purchase under group direct expense. Let us take an example of goods given for advertisement. Let us select voucher type as journal. Journals are simply debits and credits in chronological date order. It is used to keep a day-to-day -day record of a business and its transactions. Let's not change the date and project. Now, in the debit row, let us select account name as advertising. Type amount as 2000. On the credit row, select purchase account. We will notice the amount field gets automatically filled up on focus. Enter voucher number and voucher reference number. We will enter narration as being goods given for advertisement. After filling all the necessary data, save the details. Next, consider receipt transaction. We have already created account for this transaction. Create account sales under group direct income. Select receipt as voucher type. Change the date and project as per requirement. Select cash for debit account name. Enter 5000 as amount. Change the account type drop down in the second row to debit. Select SBI as account name. The amount 5000 gets automatically filled up on focus. Now, here we will learn multiple entries in a transaction. To add a new row, tap on plus button. Notice the account type gets set accordingly. The account type gets updated automatically depending on the amount to tally. Let us select account name as sales. We will find the amount appears as 10,000 to tally the debit and credit side. If we want to delete any row, we can tap on minus button. Let's add the row again. Tap on plus button. Add voucher number and voucher reference number. Add narration being sales made. Keep the default payment mode. And finally, save the details. So, in this tutorial we have learnt how to create a contra transaction, a journal transaction and a receipt transaction. As an assignment, create a payment receipt. Watch the video available at the given link. It summarizes the spoken tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial Project team conducts workshops using Spoken Tutorials. Give certificates to those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to contact at the rate spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher Project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at the given link. That's it for this tutorial. This is Truptikini from IIT Bombay. Thank you very much for watching.